Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to assign a static IP address to your Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 using the latest version of Noobs or Raspbian. The same process applies if you're using SSH or the terminal. The first thing we're going to do is run ifconfig and hit enter. My Raspberry Pi is connected in my network wired. Now if you notice here, ETH0, here is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi, which is inet address 10.0.0.14 and my subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0. Write both down because we're going to need it to configure the static IP address. Now we need the gateway IP address. So enter the following command netstat space dash nr and hit enter. Here, write down the gateway IP address, this one here. Now once you have the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway IP address, we can go ahead and configure the dhcpcd.com file. In the past, we used to write sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash network forward slash interfaces and here we would change the iFace ETH0 inet to static instead of DHCP and then input the information we acquired using ipconfig and netstat. But in the newer version of Noobs and Raspbian, it's completely different. If you notice here, it says for a static IP consult etc forward slash dhcpcd.com file and edit there. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to exit out of here and then enter sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash dhcpcd.conf and hit enter. Before I edit anything here I want to show you guys something. The most common classes of subnet mask are class A, B and C. If you notice when I did the IF config I got the 255.255.255.0. This means it's a class C subnet mask and it requires a forward slash 24 to let the operating system this is a class C uh, subnet mask. So if I was to use the same IP address as a static IP address I would use just like it's written on the bottom 10.0.0.14 forward slash 24. In your case it might be different but I really doubt that anybody will have a class A or B on a private home network. Going back to the DACPCD.com file here I'll press enter and on the very top I'll enter the following. Interface space ETH0 because I'm connected to my network wired and then on the bottom enter static space IP underscore address equals 10.0.0 14 which we got with the IF config. If you don't know much about IP address I say you, just, you use the same. If you do I'll recommend you change it to make sure it has acquired a new IP address and then enter forward slash 24 remember I'm using a class C subnet mask as I explained earlier and then again in the bottom here by pressing enter enter the following static space routers equals 10.0.0.1 which is the gateway IP address and then again press enter and here enter static space domain underscore name underscore servers equals and enter the same gateway IP address or you can enter Google's DNS IP address which is 8.8.8.8 .8 space 8.8 .8 4 and press enter to separate what you entered and the uh, information on the conf file. Now press Control X, Y, enter to save. Now do a reboot by entering sudo space reboot. Now I'm accessing my Raspberry Pi using SSH PuTTY. So here uh, to reconnect I need to enter the new IP address 10.0.0.39 if I'm able to connect that means it has saved the IP address correctly perfect if you're using terminal do an ifconfig and you should see the new IP address 
on the uh, INET address. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you. If you want to be up to date with future video tutorials like this, click on subscribe. Thank you.